This is American Ground Radio. I'm Stephen Paul with Louis Sar, Avalonie Lewis. Before you get started, I want to say hello to everybody in Lafayette, Louisiana. I love Lafayette. Love Lafayette. They've been listening to us on the weekends for the past year, but starting tonight on KPEL 96.5 FM, they're listening to us five nights a week as well. Glad to be talking to you guys tonight. Absolutely. Boy, did you see Jen Psaki? I mean, sh- today. In the White House press room. Uh-huh. I mean, she was juking. She was spinning. She was cutting back. I am surprised. She was standing in one spot. She didn't move. No, I'm she, su- had, she had her hands on the podium. Oh, she was just with right the there. way she was spinning oh. and just like verbally. reversing positions, reversing oh. direction. I'm surprised she didn't sprain an ankle. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised they didn't bring out one of those carts, you know, yeah. like they do at the football games yeah. where they lift her up on a stretcher and yeah. then they put her and the crowd, the White House press corps was yeah. just going crazy, you know, because she hurt her ankle. I, she didn't hurt her she ankle. She sprained her ankle. She didn't sprain her ankle. Well, she, She's she might very have. very limber. Well, let me just tell you, here's where I'm going with that is uh-huh. she reversed position, I mean, 180 degrees. Last week, yes. she told... The American people that the federal government was flagging misinformation or a post on Facebook that they found undesirable. That's right. That's what they said. Or that said otherwise they were killing people. It was misinformation. Yeah. And Biden said Facebook is killing people. It's killing people. Yeah. But today, Uh today, none of that. No, 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 no. We're not flagging these posts for them. We're just making suggestions. You take a listen. Uh, thank you. Um, will the White House publicly release information on posts that it considers misinformation on vaccines that that it's asked uh, Facebook to block? First of all, we've not fa- asked Facebook to block uh, any individual posts. Uh, the way this works is that there are trending, there are trends that are out there on social media platforms. Uh, you're aware of them. Uh, we're aware of them. Anyone in the public can be aware of them. There's also... There's, there's trends. That's all it is. It's yeah, like it's, it's not, like bell yeah, bottoms. Exactly. We're not telling them <laughs> what to do. Right. Don't wear bell bottoms. We're just we're just flagging. We're, we're not really flagging. We just notice that there's a trend. That's and and all. we're in constant contact with them. Right. And of course, this is the same social media platform that uh, suppressed any evidence of COVID nineteen having originated in yeah. the Wuhan lab. Right. Uh, it's same this, same one yeah. that uh, banned any uh, mention of Hunter Biden's laptop because that was Russian disinformation. A- exactly. Or the possibility Mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, basically that what, that the lab leak was even a possibility. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It was also the the same platform that censored on basically the what the whole story about. um, What was this? This was uh, Facebook. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. This is the same platform that deplatformed the president of the United States of America. Uh, right. Regularly, Regu- well, yeah, but he's still off. He's still he's still not allowed to go on to Facebook. He still doesn't have a Facebook account because they have kicked him off. And and last week, yeah. uh, of course, the Surgeon General said that misinformation mm-hmm. is killing people. Mm-hmm. That that's a, a national threat. But here's the thing, Kaylee. I mean, excuse me, Kaylee McEnany. Oh, <laughs> if we could only go that's, back. It's so mean. But but nevertheless, Jen Psaki. Jen Psaki, What she had to say mm-hmm. last week is diametrically opposed, in my opinion, to what she said today. Right. Take a listen to what she said first last week. Uh, within the Surgeon General's office, we're flagging problematic posts for Facebook uh, that spread disinformation. We're working with doctors and medical professionals to connect uh, to connected medical experts with. So we're flagging those posts. We're flagging right. them. And then she says, we're not, we're not actually, you know, I mean, that, flagging exactly. any Exactly. And then she went on to say that Facebook had better hop to it. Uh, it's important to take faster action against harmful posts. As you all know, information travels quite quickly on social media platforms. Sometimes it's not accurate. And Facebook needs to move more quickly to remove harmful posts. Uh, v- uh, violative posts, posts that will be within their policies for removal often remain up for days. That's too long. The information spreads too quickly. So as we change our minds, we need you to change your minds quickly with us. And then she went on to explain how Facebook, they get us. Uh, certainly the proposals, uh, we engage with them regularly and they certainly understand what our asks are. Yeah, Facebook's good. It's just asks. They understand just what our asks are. And this, by the way, is yeah. the federal government that has the power mm-hmm. to regulate them mm-hmm. into oblivion. They do. They do. This is the, the same federal government that's got 
when it comes to the internet and and I mean they can regulate whatever they want, right? And then, yeah, exactly. And then Joe Biden, of yeah. course, today he had said that Facebook was killing it's people, killing people, but man. it was completely I was misunderstood. My dad, I said, hey, Dad, Facebook's killing people. He's like, Joe, Joe, you should get some ice cream and just cool out. I'm like, Dad, I'm not even kidding. They're killing people. So this is a planted question. And when you listen to this, uh, that was great, great, uh, Stephen, great job. Thank Here's you. the thing. Yeah. But when you listen to this clip uh-huh. of Joe Biden. This this question could not have been planted more deeply uh, in terms of at this press conference. You said last week that companies and platforms like Facebook are killing people by letting us. Let me be precisely what I said. I'm glad you asked me that question. One, I had just read that on the Facebook, Facebook pointed out that it was pointed out that Facebook of all the misinformation. 60% 60% of the misinformation came from 12 individuals. That's what the article said. So I was asked that question about what do I think is happening? Facebook isn't killing people. These 12 people are out there giving misinformation. Anyone listening to it is getting hurt by it. Wait, it, are, we're going to stop freedom of speech on Facebook because of 12 people? No, absolutely. Well, that... 12 people? But did you hear him at the beginning? Did oh, you know that 87.5% of all statistics are made up right on the spot? Did, did you, you hear him at the, Did you hear at the beginning where he said, oh, I'm, I'm very glad you brought that up? Uh-huh. I mean, and w- you, you have, did. And folks, you have to see the video. Obviously, we can't share that with you right now. But it, it's also sad because he loses his train of thought in the middle. I was with the Facebook and I just I saw the thing and there was the it's, it's 12 people. But here's the thing. Here, <laughs> here's something I, I, I'd propose to you. Yeah. Rather than the the White House, the federal government trying to impose mm-hmm. speech policies yes, on try, every social media platform. Trying to silence billions of people because 12 people put stuff up that the federal government doesn't like. Why don't we just let the free market work? Hmm. Those that are outraged by the fact that Facebook keeps publishing fake or fake news or mm-hmm. false information or misleading news. Mm. I it's, mean, that, it's not even Facebook publishes it. Facebook allows other people okay. to publish it. But those that are outraged by Facebook policies, they mm-hmm. could protest. They could boycott, right? right. They could. I mean, they could start an alternative platform. They could. I mean, and then if Facebook didn't like to see their subscribers mm-hmm. uh, go away, then they could change their policies. They could. I mean, that is... I mean, that's what America is all about. It's the free market. Yeah. Instead of the federal government from the top down mm-hmm. trying to impose their will, which ultimately ends up in censoring the American people. Well, and quite clearly, the other part of this problem is that the, the federal government is not the final arbiter of what is and what is not true. There are a lot of people in our federal government who don't, don't even believe in truth anymore. So how are they going to say what is and what is not misinformation? It is so rich that our federal government gets to define what is and what is not misinformation. You know, the infamous Thomas Sowell, Uh he once said, it's not so much a question of what is best, but who gets to decide what is best. And right now, it's the ego of the elites that get to decide what is best for us. Let's get to the top three things you need to know before tomorrow. Violence broke out again in Los Angeles at a Korean spa. The Wee Spa was the site of a violent clash between Antifa and some customers of the spa who were protesting males being allowed to go into the women's area of the spa completely nude. Police arrested dozens of people for failing to disperse after some protesters threw projectiles at the police. Although, interestingly, news reports on the arrest don't indicate whether the people arrested were part of Antifa or the protesters who were opposed to the spa's transgender policy. Okay, so we don't really know... Who, was the, who were the troublemakers we here? Don't, we do not know. None of the reports mention who the troublemakers were. But last time, last weekend, it was definitely Antifa running through the streets, beating up people who were wearing shirts that said, trust Jesus. 
Second thing you need to know before tomorrow, for the first time in Louisiana's history, the state legislature is going to attempt to override a governor's veto. Democrat Governor John Bell Edwards vetoed 28 bills this session, including a bill that would prevent biological males from competing in sports for biological females, and another bill that would have allowed people over the age of 21 to carry a concealed handgun without a permit or background check. The bills will need votes from all the Republicans in the Senate and the House, along with two other votes from Democrats or independents in the House in order to succeed. You know, here's the thing. Louisiana is still a red state. Yes. Even though we have a Democrat governor. Right. And of course, folks elected this governor. How? How? He was a conservative Democrat. That's a misnomer. I mean, that doesn't exist. Third thing you need to know before tomorrow, COVID cases are on the rise across the South. Arkansas, Mississippi, and Oklahoma are all all reporting increases in COVID cases over the past month. Mississippi's director of the State Department of Health, Dr. Thomas Dobbs, wrote on Twitter this weekend, the fourth wave is here. And in Arkansas, Governor Asia Hutchinson has been on a tour of cities across the state trying to convince people to get the vaccine, but so far hasn't changed many minds. But you know, folks like Lord Fauci, Mm -hmm. I mean, they are part of the reason why Mm -hmm. I think that many Americans don't trust this news with respect to this Delta variant. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. Right. I'm just saying. Maybe it's being overblown a little bit. And look, if hospitalizations and deaths aren't on the rise, then why do we care if cases are?